Hi and welcome to another TurboCamaro.ca video production. Today we're going to be boost referencing the mechanical fuel pump. So this is the stock fuel pump out of the Chevy 250. It's just a regular mechanical fuel pump. I think maybe four, five, six psi is what it would go to. Uh, I don't even know what the uh, GPH is, but the point of the matter is, is that I want to use this for a turbocharged application. Now. A lot of people switch to electronic fuel pumps specifically for the ability to get to higher PSI, uh, which is which is fine if that's what you want to do. It's, it's a great solution. This is, on the other hand, a cheaper solution that should work for my application. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to get between you know eight and hopefully 15 PSI uh, with boost referencing. The, there's been some experience and, and knowledge online that shows that these things can get to anywhere from 8 to you know 12 13 maybe 14 15 psi so it is a possibility to use this within my goals so we'll have to uh, see how it goes but in the meantime it's not a difficult modification and i've searched online and seen some pictures but not a single video on how to accomplish this so i do want to show you how this is done uh, essentially a mechanical fuel pump uh, the camshaft has a little uh, lobe that goes back and forth causing this lever to move which causes the diaphragm to go up and down which interacts with the two valves for the intake and output of the mechanical pump. It's very basic in design. What you can do is you can push in a uh, hose from your either vacuum or boost and what will happen is when you get boost it will push air into the pump causing it to open the diaphragm which then pushes air um, causing air to push in, which will then have the fuel uh, basically forced into the engine, into the carburetor, at the PSI that the um, engine is currently pushing. So for instance, if you're pushing 10 PSI, 10 PSI would then be tubing into the fuel pump, which then pushes fuel up at 10 PSI, allowing your vehicle to keep up, or the pump to keep up with your vehicle. So. Uh, it's a pretty simple idea, but of course it, it only works for so long once you get to a high enough PSI, the pump just can't handle it. You can get uh, higher performance mechanical pumps that get you into the 789 uh, PSI range by stock, and then you could modify those and maybe get a bit more. But this you know, $30 one uh, should be able to accomplish what I want to do. So first things first is you need to have something to put into the a hole into the base of the pump. Uh, this is actually from a um, Spectre fuel filter, so it's a fuel resistant plastic, probably some kind of nylon uh, with threading on it, uh, which is great. And then of course, a just a regular hose uh, nipple on the end here. So what I'm gonna do is drill out this little dimple on the pump here, you can see there, and then I'm going to plug these two. So I'll drill this out with an appropriate drill bit. It's about the same size as the threads. It might even be exactly the same. And I'll push this in, I'm gonna JB weld it. Get some of this JB weld here. I think there's some left in there. Some JB weld. And then I will JB weld this into position. And then I'm also going to, just going to cover these holes with JB weld as well. I may do two layers. We'll have to see how it looks when I'm done. I do want to keep it looking somewhat nice. This, having to have this uh, nipple here actually will make things look, you know, relatively stock or at least um, professional. So I'm going to go ahead and drill that hole and we'll go from there. All right, holes drilled. You can see here, doing it indoors, maybe not the best thing, makes quite a bit of mess. The walls of the uh, the pump are actually quite a bit thicker than I anticipated. Uh, either way, uh, I'm looking inside there, you can actually see maybe the right light, there's actually a spring right in there, which is fine. So just make sure you don't drill you know, beyond the depth of the wall. You don't have to. And then what I did is I just sort of chopped the threading off this just a little bit so that it won't actually make any contact with the spring that's in there and it won't interfere with any of the internals. So that's the general idea. That's what we're going for. Maybe a little more flesh than that, but something like that. It looks a little bit, you know, Frankenstein, but that's fine. So uh, the next thing you want to do is just JB weld this in there and then JB weld these holes closed. All right, we're all done. JB weld's been applied to both the vent holes and the hose nipple. Once it was inserted, I used a toothpick to just do a very fine bead of JB weld along the bottom edge of the hose nipple so that uh, there's a nice transition between it and the metal pump. I want to make sure there's no gaps there for air to escape. Uh, that being said, once it's installed in the car, you're going to run a boost reference hose from the turbo down to that uh, hose nipple there, and that should allow a near one-to-one -one increase of fuel 
uh, until probably near 15 psi. I, I haven't heard of anybody being able to go higher than that, but that being said, it's not done very often. So feel free to give it a try. If you've had some results with this, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, feel free to subscribe on the YouTube channel for uh, further videos. There's going to be a lot coming up about the, the finalization of the head here, as well as the engine and other uh, body modifications. So feel free to subscribe for that or check out turbocamaro.ca for more information. Thank you very much for watching.